How about Pocket Cinema with Android TV? As small as a cola can, bright enough to project in rather dark rooms, 100% portable because it is lightweight and has embedded battery, and it is operating system independent because it has its own. Let's welcome the original Nebula capsule, here to warm up before reaching the cosmos. Hi, it's Michael from the Zek for All channel, let's inspect! Hey, warm welcome to the channel! In order to encode the words I've just said about reaching the cosmos, because they sounded very weird, they're related to the new Nebula product, which at the time of making the video is still being crowdfunded and represents the first 4K home cinema projector with 3D audio. It's called Cosmos, and expectation is that the device is going to be ready at some point in 2020, and right now at the end of 2019, I'd like to inspect and test for you the Nebula capsule. Nebula is a subsidiary of Anchor, a company so well known for its batteries, and they have entered other markets, launching quite interesting devices, having the capsule being among the most interesting innovations from their side. Right now the original Nebula capsule is priced at around $300 on Amazon and often being discounted, there's a second generation which has better specs and some extra features, but costs almost twice more. I specifically want to review the first generation, because at the moment it offers excellent quality price ratio, and more info about the both products, together with the modus discount, you can find linked in the description below the video. This device appeared for the first time back in 2018, and it's one of the first pocket-sized portable projectors that actually work well. Of course, looking at the size of it, we should set the expectations right. There's no way this device to challenge large pro-grade projectors with huge optics. But even at this small size, it can deliver outstanding quality and give you a chance to watch media literally anywhere, without having to be surrounded by cables or to use complicated connections. Find a wall or any similar flat surface, make sure it is not too bright, and you're good to go and project. Unboxing the capsule feels great. I've always been a fan of the signature of Anchor's way of packaging. There's a lot of style involved and you will immediately notice the good choice of colors and more importantly, materials. The hardware inside is just fine. Quad-core A7 processor from the Snapdragon 200 series, so it is not blazing fast for gaming, but good enough for multimedia. 1GB RAM, 8GB storage, 5200mAh embedded battery and active cooling because of the optics. Speaking of which, the lamp with a lifespan of 30,000 hours offers 100 ounce lumens with resolution of up to 480p. That turns the capsule into a good device for people who don't look for the best picture quality. And despite the lack of HD resolution, which is obviously limited by the size of the device, the colors and contrast truly compensate for that absence because the video quality is really good looking. The 0.2-inch FWVGA DLP does a brilliant job, and on top of the good video output, the latency is minor, most of the times not notable at all. The supported projecting size is between 20 and 100 inches, and you have to adjust the focus manually. Now that the further you are from the projecting surface, the paler the image is going to be, especially if there is light in the room. In total darkness, the video is perfectly visible, but when in the room you have light, things are getting different. So your best option is to place the nebula as close as possible to the wall. For your convenience, there is the option to mount on a tripod. The device can act as a speaker too, it can be loud, 5 watt output in total, and has not too great frequency response range. For connectivity, we have the HDMI port and a micro USB port, there's a convenient remote and physical buttons on the top. Generally on the inside, the Nebula capsule, besides being portable projector, is also very similar to an Android TV box. And that sums up the hardware, so let's take a look at the software features. This is another area where Nebula have done excellent job, having integrated most of Android TV. And counting on both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, our options for connectivity suddenly multiply. The OS is on one side not exactly Android, but on the other side with some creativity you can enhance it a lot. 
The tower-based launcher works great with the remote, and I've been astonished by the easiness of the operation. Honestly, this is one of the easiest ways to make presentations on the go with almost zero preparation. Or to quickly show a video to your friends using a large screen, because yeah, things like YouTube and other streaming services are available. Because it is Android TV, you can count on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, all the multimedia services that you use if you need to quickly access more apps. Unfortunately, the Google services are missing, but you have alternatives. Make sure to have Aptoid or APK Pure, great alternatives to Google Play Store. Actually, they let you install way more apps, which are marked as supported by smartphones only. And usually Play Store doesn't let you install them on Android TV. And that's how you can install a lot of games. And because Bluetooth 4 is also part of the supported features, I was able to connect a joystick and play a little. Overall, the experience is very, very good. Minimum latency, performance is just fine. Well, having only 480p for output, it's something that the hardware can easily handle. The battery life of the Nebula capsule is also good. Usually got around 4, 4.5 hours. It's gonna be less if you play games, because that stresses the hardware more. For your convenience, there's a smartphone app, which can act as a remote too. Speaking of the remote, the IR receiving sensor is on the backside of the capsule, and sometimes you may find it troubled to use it if you're not behind. But this is what the smartphone app can compensate. So, in general, the capsule is pricey, but it's a fantastic solution for running presentations and videos on the go without having to place people in meeting rooms with expensive pro-grade equipment, keeps things simple and lightweight and perfectly delivers what it is supposed to. If you need slightly better resolution and more brightness, then think about getting the model called Max, which appears as a second generation and is very similar to the original. This is everything important about the Nebula capsule. And besides the few shortcomings, that device is fantastic companion, especially for people that have dynamic life and want to be able to stream and present content on the go. It's been fun reviewing it for you. If the video was useful, show me by pressing the thumb up, take a good care of yourself, and see you next time.